Hello and welcome to another video from MindSide. In this video we're, we're going to take a look at how to install the MindSide dashboard. So we're going to start out with the thumb drives we got um, with the kit. I have the files right here. Um, I'm going to find this dashboard, um, press the zip folder, right click it and extract all. Um, I have the file right here, I already extracted. I'm going to go right here to the dashboard application file and press run. Alright, so now we have the program open here. Let's go right to full screen. Um, and, and that's basically it. It's already installed and ready to go. Um, there's a few things you'll need to do for the first time when you connect the drone, um, which again, it shows here uh, if we go back to our manual. If we go to the UAV mini manual here, and I have it opened up right here. Um, here we go. Um, toward the back, we'll find a very helpful guide called the Mindside Dashboard, and it will step us through a bunch of helpful tips and tricks, um, and and take us through all the different uh, parts of the um, program here. But there's a few things I want to cover right at the end, um, with, uh, which is the first time you connect to the drone. Um, you'll basically you'll need to make sure that you uh, follow the setup instructions in the Mindside Drone Library, uh, and then you you want you'll want to make sure that the appropriate drivers are also installed and available uh, for your telemetry radios. Uh, so if you're running Windows, the driver installation button is available in the configuration menu, which the configuration menu is right here, and you can launch the driver installer right here, extract, and that will reinstall the drivers. Um, and that works great. And then the next thing you'll want to do is you want to make sure that you configure your telemetry radios before you use them. And then, uh, yeah. Uh, the, the next part is each flight. So every time you use the mission planner, you first want to uh, connect to the telemetry radio to your computer. Um, so that means plugging that telemetry radio in your, on your computer and also plugging that telemetry radio uh, on to the robot and then pr uh, pressing connect. Um, so if you're, you're going to want to turn your drone on, connect the telemetry radio to the computer, press refresh in the dashboard window, right? And then select the appropriate device here, and then press connect. Um, so you, you should start seeing telemetry from your drone. Um, and that means like you'll see info here. Um, so waypoints you've already entered in will be set, sent to the drone, and the settings will be stored on board, and they'll be loaded so that they can be changed in the telemetry window. Um, and the last thing I want to cover is the radio configuration, um, and that's making sure that you have the appropriate drivers available. <clears throat> and you'll go into the dashboard, go to the configuration menu. Um, uh, I have one here. here. So this is my telemetry radio. I'm going. I have a USB cable right here too. I'm plugging my USB cable into the computer and connecting my flinch radio with this cable here. All right, so you can see that's connected. So first things right off the bat, you're going to notice that it's going to install the device driver software. This should happen every time you connect to it. Um, I'm just going to wait a moment for that to install. All right, now it says your device is ready to use. All right, so now we're going to start. We have the dashboard started. We're in the configuration window. Um, we want to connect to the telemetry radio um, to the dash um, connect first off right here. So it's okay. And then Windows also tells me zero port COM19, which is helpful in doing this. When I press connect in here, um, it says COM19. Um, so a lot of times by default, it will be the baud rate will be 56 or 57. Um, 600 or 
or 56,700, something like that, um, like this. Um, and then, but after the configuration, we want to be at the 9600. Um, so, uh, so what we'll do, right, is we'll do 9600, and then we'll click, actually, uh, let's see, let me change it back. Nope. Okay, we'll click 9600, click com, press refresh, and press connect. Yep, so as long as you go through steps, we'll click refresh, we set the baud rate, we want it to be 9600, um, make changes you want, and press import defaults. And then to automatically configure it for use. And then we'll press save changes, but we haven't changed anything, so let's be able to review. And then we'll have to do this for um, both uh, radio. Or both telemetry radios we're using. I can now hit disconnect. Um, that's it. Uh, let's see, a few other things we can go over in the configuration. You can also toggle ground and air mode here. Um, I'm in air mode already, but I could toggle this by changing effects this way. Um, uh, there's the, vertical, the artificial horizon, if you click on it, it pops over to a larger window, just like that. Um, and, okay, so to toggle air ground mode, I close out of this, um, then I open back up again, on, and now I'm in ground mode, right, and I can select waypoints, okay, just like this, uh, there we go, so, yeah, while in ground mode, clicking the map will place GPS waypoints at the location that the connected rover will attempt to drive to. Um, to add a waypoint at the end of the path, click on the map, uh, click on the existing path line to break it, and then add a new point in between. So, for example, here, I now have a new point in between, so I can add points as I go, like that. Um, and that's basically it for the... Um, the Mindside dashboard. If you have any additional questions, make sure to email info at mymindside.com. And thank you for watching.